Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's video. Um, so today I want to show you um, another hair coloring technique. Last year when I made a video about yeah the background of this page somebody asked under under the video if I could show or that she would be also interested in knowing how I do this kind of hair uh, and not only the um, Hanalin type of hair um, coloring that I showed you already on my channel. So today I want to show you how to color this type of hair. Um, I'm not doing the exact same um, colors but it will be a red hair color and yeah. So today I want to color a Mariola Budek picture and I already, I, I already started down here so here you can see what hair color I'm aiming for today and um, I think I want to introduce the colors quickly. I want to lay down a pencil here. Um, yeah, I will zoom you in already a little bit so that we can start. With this page, I will do a part of it in um, real time, and then later on, I think I will speed it up a little bit. I'm starting off with the dark chrome yellow, and I will do just a light layer on this hair section here. So just covering the whole space with this color, I have a very light pressure. Here where it is darker, you can press a little bit harder if you like, but it's not necessary. And on Mariolo pages, it's very nice that we have already some shading and you can see a hair structure, so to speak. And yeah, I like it. You can just follow it and it's quite easy. Because basically this technique is just to make a lot of flicks, a lot of strokes to build up the hair. And I have to say, I find it really relaxing and I really enjoy um, coloring hair. I enjoy coloring um, Hannah Lynn type of hair where I just do a blending, a blended type of hair. But I also really enjoy um, those hair um, types where I really go with a lot of strokes. And um, yeah, it's very much fun, I think. If you haven't tried, maybe you should try if you like it. But of course, yeah, you will need maybe a little bit of patience, so. But as coloring is for relaxation, I think it's just fine to invest some time. Um, yeah, so I've um, covered the two um, areas here to start off with. And now I would take the next um, color, which is pale geranium lake and now I already start with flicking my pencil making strokes and yet I'm using a light pressure and I have to say that the strokes are um, not all the same length so a few strokes will be um, longer few strokes will be lighter and then I go for from the bottom upwards as well. At the moment I have a light pressure, not um, pressing too hard and I'm um, connecting a few areas even
I'm just looking uh, what Mariola uh, gave us um, already here her hints like her strokes and yeah trying to cover that up with color of course a few strokes or a few areas are quite dark there maybe you have to press a little bit harder but we will build up the hair slowly so we'll go over it several times I'm thinking if I even should maybe um, continue this page on screen so that we could do the skin together next time maybe. If you're interested in that, don't hesitate to let me know about it. But I think I will do it anyway because I want to have a little bit of variety on my channel, so... Today I already recorded um, the second part for my Maria Trolle uh, page, um, you know, which the one that I started uh, last year with the snow. Uh, a few had asked if I could continue it, and so um, today finally I did it, and... Um, yeah, I just um, started coloring the background. I think a few of you really like Maria Troller. I also like her very much, her pages. And I want to do a whole lot more this year from her. But I also want to do those type of um, pages. Because I enjoy to color those very much as well. And now I'm using the Deep Scarlet Red. And yesterday I um, watched a video by Zucchini Kitty. And she also is coloring a page by Mariola Budek on her channel. Um, if I don't forget, I will link it down in the info box, just in case you haven't uh, seen it. It's oops, uh, absolutely amazing, stunning. And she is coloring a page that I have on my want to color list for a long time already. But I haven't done it yet. But uh, yeah, she's really inspiring. And I'm even, even thinking on if I maybe should follow her tutorial uh, or her call along. I don't do that often, almost never, so to speak. Um, but for this year, I actually want to do it a little bit more often because Yeah, so that I can learn a little bit from others, from other color tubes. Especially on backgrounds, I have to say. I want to learn a whole lot more. But yeah, she um, has this uh, amazing coloring of, of a Mariola Budek page that I really like. And she's using the... The luminance pencils and I really struggle to build um, skin with luminance pencils. I don't know why but I'm not so successful with it. Just when I have a really uh, textured paper then it's not too bad but if I have like my uh, my sheet paper like I, I'm using it now it's not coming out as good. So, I really want to 
follow her maybe and see what I can learn from her. And then she colored this bird. It looks so stunning. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, okay, so the next color that I'm using is the dark red. Um, so now we are getting already quite dark. So I'm concentrating more on the darker area. So yeah, at the top of a section. And you know, sometimes you can make a longer line. I don't want to have the lines all the same length, but a few will be longer than others. Just have a little bit of variation in here as well. And I apply a little bit more pressure now. Yeah, another thing that I wanted to say, um, there was a person, I don't have the name now, but she uh, also asked me to do a hair color combination for the hair color that I did on a um, Jasmine Beckett Griffiths page, on the one with the butterflies on which I have my... Um, glossy wings butterflies and uh, maybe she even asked me twice I'm not quite sure if it were different persons or the same person so I really want to do this hair color as well I have planned it out already uh, just need to film it And I want to do that, um, yeah, maybe next week, soon. I want, to, I want to do this video soon. No, I'm going in with the red violet in, yeah, the darkest areas. So I'm using this not as much, just darkening up a few areas. And after that, I will go in with the uh, red and... Um, Bring the red a little bit more up. For example, here in this corner, I want to have it a little bit more. Okay, now I will use the, uh, what is it, pale, pale geranium lake. I'm now I'm going in and making it, yeah, bring this color up more to the middle. And I do have a medium pressure now, I would say. And yeah, bringing it up to the middle. Let the hair start to look more reddish. It was a little bit dark maybe with all the darker colors. And then the next step would also be to go in with the yellow and that will give it this um oh you can't see it it's uh, too far down on this page but it will make it it will give it a glow and i'm trying to keep the highlights in the middle part um i hope you can see it so now i will 
go in with my um, dark chrome yellow and yeah use this color a little bit uh, in certain areas so I'm not um, I don't want to use it too much And now I will blend everything in with my cream. So here I'm basically not using strokes. I'm just going in where those highlighted areas and trying to blend it in with the rest. You know, so you can go over the other colors as well. It doesn't, it won't harm it or something. I really like to add in a little bit of yellow when I do red hair color. Yeah, but I don't know, I just like this contrast and I just like to do that. So, and now I would go in and try to implement a little bit more of the pale geranium lake to have it really, you know, a little bit more that the reddish color comes out. And now with a really harder pressure, so that you really um, get a little bit of this red color in there. Yeah, yeah, looks not too bad, huh? Uh, yeah, I also will go in with the deep scale red. So I'm basically basically just going in uh, with all the colors to intensify them a little bit. This step is not really needed, but I like to do it. just like to intensify everything a little bit so that's all what I'm doing here and now with the dark red Yeah, with the darkest color as well. And with this I'm trying to make the dark parts really dark. And to cover up the black lines a little bit. Okay, so and that is the whole trick. 
of doing this type of hair. I hope you could follow it how I do it. I think I will now maybe record a little bit longer and um, zoom out a little bit and speed up the video so that you can um, see how I do the part up here uh, a little bit but I won't explain now anything so see you later for saying goodbye
So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the process so far. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care everyone and happy coloring. Bye.